Hey everyone, my name is Titanic and welcome back to another episode of Titancraft Season 10, episode number 313. Today, we are making more progress on the Mega Base, the Biome Bomb, as I'm calling it. Um, and today's episode is an entire running joke with the fact that because of my scaffolding ring over here of snow, it looks like it's a giant 3D printer. And so that's going to be my running joke, is today we're basically a 3D printer, because it's like it's building it up from the ground, and so we're doing the layer even with the bar today. Um, I don't know, I noticed that like right away. It reminds me of like those scanning, like like those sci-fi printers that just like build up in like a scanning form. Kind of like the, um, the Among Us um, med scan, but like building something out of the scan. Uh, so, Among yeah. Us? Yeah, Among Us is the best thing that I could use to explain that. Um, so... Yeah, except for the fact that... Off camera, I've moved up quite a bit. I think I'm now on layer... Let's see, what layer am I on, actually? I think it's like 11, but I'm not positive. Can I see a better counting spot? Positive. I don't want to miscount. I think that's block number three there. That might be four. I don't know. Wait, we're on... Okay. Are we only up ten layers? I thought we were up more. I'm confused. Maybe you were up... Guess we're only on layer number 10. I thought we were on like 11 or something, but whatever. Um, this will be number 11 today, so we're going to set the schematic. Um, we're going to raise what we can see. These layers up here are getting more and more annoying, but this one might be smooth, because a lot of the time I had to place an extra dirt block to let me go where I want it. It's just ugh, a pain in the ass. Uh, so I'll start up here, I guess, where I've been working. Um, obviously, I've made you a... Know. I've made a noticeable amount of progress since the last episode, that's for sure. Um, I'm really happy with that. I think it's a good point to be at. I don't know how long it's going to take me to build this entire structure, but it's going to go quick, I think. Um, my goal is that off-camera night, I would like to... Because it's... Okay, well, I should verify. We're going to only do one layer in this episode because it takes me forever to do a layer. Like, it's there's no way we'll have time to do even one and a half. It'll take the whole freaking episode for this. But, um... I'm hoping to get through... I guess if this is layer 11, a total of nine... Mm, I should tell you Maybe after I record. Um... Oh, God damn it, my train of thought. Um, I am wall. Oh yeah, so this is layer 11. I think layer 18 is where these subdomes are done, and so I might just grind out the server tonight after I do a few things IRL and try to get to the top of the subdomes. To the I guess the I guess the main biodomes, and then the main dome in the middle will be all that's left besides the spire structure. Um Hold on, I hear a billion chickens. I know. Although once I do, once I get the domes done, I feel like it's gonna be a lot easier, um, because they're the they're way more intricate than anything else. But yeah, Under chickens. In terms of real life news, not really sure what's all going on. Um, I know one of the things on my agenda tonight is I'm going to be submitting a report to the American scientist peoples. Um, AKA, I need to make a drought monitor report because I would like the drought monitor to adequately reflect the fact that we are in a severe drought and not just abnormally dry. So I took a bunch of pictures Wait. earlier and when this video is rendering, I'm going to be submitting a super technical report and hoping that no one gets sus of me because I'm only 18, but that's fine. I know what I'm talking about. Like Climatology is my thing. So... You said peoples, and I like you sounded very communist. Also, I found on hey, you know, I, I went through around here one time to go get a cave and light it all up. Mm -hmm. I heard chickens, and I think I found another one. Oh, fun! Well, ghost, I know ghost kept joking earlier. He walked over here and he thought it sounded like there was a mob farm underground from how many. Yeah, there's chickens under here. Well, no, there's also like a zombie horde somewhere under the base. There's like 50 chickens oh, down shit, here. That was um, Not 50, but like God probably like 30. Damn it! Oh, there's a lot shit. of them down here, and there's also like a witch or two down here too. Okay, I can get myself back to a good landing spot. Um, I hear one. It might be two. Oh, is this? Oh, say? um, oh. So in other great news, besides the fact that so far for most of northern Minnesota, the first um for the first I guess completed like 13 days of June are. <gasps> Anywhere between the hottest and fifth hottest June on record, um, for average temperature. 
we're going to get a little bit of a cool spot next week, and I'm kind of looking Spoiler. forward to it. The highs will barely be like 70 degrees, and so to start off summer, it is going to be rather mild, which what after sitting heck? through... After sitting through a hundred degree heat this month, I can tell you I am looking forward to only being seventy degrees again. I broke the skeleton. Hmm. I think of some other. He was shooting with his arms down. No oh, fun. Um. Also, I gotta get want to stab myself for mentioning it, but I might be live streaming this weekend a marathon stream. Usually, I want to like give a heads up like big time formally. Um. Won't give you guys any like video heads up besides like let's play mentions until the end of the week but i'm thinking doing i want to do a live stream for the longest day of the year not sure how long um if i stream it'll be at least a 16 hour live stream maybe up to 24 depending on what kind of mood i'm in and what i end up doing i gotta talk I'm it over with down. a bunch of people this week but um I don't know. Again, not guaranteed I'll live stream at all. I'd say right now there's a probably a 50-50 chance that I live stream, and if I do stream, I'd say there's like a <laughs> further 50-50 chance it's a 24-hour marathon again. Which I do think I still owe you all a 24-hour marathon, as I did at one point promise that at 240 subscribers I would find time to do a 24-hour marathon. And the last 24-hour marathon was before I had 240 subs, so technically I am owing one of those suckers. So maybe... I will try to finally be able to make oh, that up to all. I found another dungeon. Oh, cool. What dungeon is it? I am, the only um, thing I'm a little unsure of is if we stream all day. Um, I want to do the biodomes on camera. I really want to have eight different episodes to decorate each of the subdomes. So I, I know we're going to do a lot of TC work, but I'm not really sure what corner of my base I really like want to pound out during a live stream because I don't know if i'm super down for just working on a certain like little corner of my base during that we'll see though my Is one zombie spawner my one idea was to start working on the lower half of my base and even though i said i don't want to work on that at all until the upper half is done say screw it because i've been looking at the calendar a lot and i'm to the point where i'm like you know what it's gonna be a tight fit <laughs> But I think I'm going to be able to build the entirety of my mega base, like everything I want for it. And so, or at least the main stuff I want for it. Maybe I can't get every little extra detail I wanted. The other idea is just drop some of the side spawn tasks I want to do and just go all out on the mega base. Like, <coughs> there were a few more throwback builds I really wanted to do in Spawn Town. And honestly, if I don't get to them, so be it. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, it's not going to. It's not. It's gonna be one less thing for season ten to hold, which is kind of sad, but it's whatever. <laughs> and is some the TPS down. I don't know. I mean, I really should look at my oh. list of season ten projects and just see where we're at. Like the other night, we had a meeting, and I mean, the gaming district. They we are making into a really fun um competition on the server to see who can make the best mini game. I'm not participating because I'm gonna be. I'm mainly running the thing. And I just have too many other things to work on. But I'm hoping to see the gaming district expand. I gave one last final plea to Farmtown. Um, we started discussing finishing up actual spawn and the spawn roads. I mean, the server's going to come together really fast now. Um, kind of because it has to. I mean, what do we have? I, I think, oh, based on what I saw earlier, I forget who... I forget what it was. I think it's like 38 days left in the season. And technically, that's till the finale. And so, my days to really oh, make... My day is to make substantial oh. progress on the server. Really, maybe dying. Oh no. Um, my there's a lot of mobs and there's a witch. Huh. My days though to actually this... make progress on the server probably are numbered down to like thirty five from now, just because the last couple of days, besides maybe a bit of polishing at the very end, if I haven't got it done by at that point, um, I gotta be editing a finale to the series at the end, so. And that'll be crazy. I mean, I was thinking about that earlier. I'm like, a lot of things in this series for our major uploads have been behind schedule. And a finale can't be behind schedule. So I'm going to have to start working on what I can for the finale. Probably in about a month. Like, I want the season finale to be something awesome. And I don't want it to just rip off of a different series finale that I've done or somebody else has done. So I'm trying to think of like the most unique stuff I can possibly do to really give season 10 a proper send off in a month so that's kind of my big thing at the moment hopefully i can pull that off i feel pretty 
shield confident with it. Maybe. Yes, but, yes, but shields are overpowered. That's the only reason I'm alive. <sighs> yeah. Shields are definitely OP. It's called I got cornered by a witch, two creepers, and a skeleton. And all I did is I knew I knew that the witch already was drinking potion. Oh, OP died. <laughs> He survived the creeper, but he couldn't survive the family. Um, I don't know. I'm really excited for what's yet to come with Titan Crypt Season 10. I mean, I think I'm to the point where I'm really enjoying it the most I have in the entire season, which is really funny because in Season 5 at this point, I was honestly really struggling. I think I might have admitted that in late Season 5, I just had a hard time keeping the energy to keep the series moving along. It just it got, it got old for me. <laughs> I mean, season five was the at that point the longest project I'd ever attempted, and I was bored of it by the time we got to this point in the season. And I felt like I was just forcing myself to finish up. Like, I'm a little bit nervous right now with just how much I have um how much I have booked left in the season. But at the same, I'm loving it, and I think season ten is probably the most alive in my eyes. It's been all season. Um, and there's still so so much left to do. It's awesome. I can't wait. Uh, I just, I do need to, put, honestly, I guess I haven't looked at my own season checklist in a few months now. I need to just open up my checklist and say, okay, what do I need to cross off entirely? And what do I still have time to work on? Because it's just, I've taken on so many jobs this season that I damn well knew I didn't have time for. And that was probably one of my biggest faults of the season. But what can I say? You gotta run over here so I can get some more glass. Oh, that was a stupid spot to place the shulker, but whatevs. Um, what else was I gonna say? I mean, I will admit, for the first time, I think up to this point earlier today, I really had some ideas for postseason 10 projects which is weird i don't know how i feel about that like i i've oh god damn it um, i've talked before a few times i'm not super fond of the idea of diving into something big i mean well unlike last time with season five where i said i'm gonna quit youtube after two like well even though i'm still serious about doing all of the youtube stuff why did i not do the glass yeah. I don't, oh my god um i really am still enjoying playing games it's like i don't want to completely live myself but i don't want to dive into something super big in terms of scale but i have quite a few ideas and i'm not exactly sure yet where i want it i can't i can't list off all the possible world combinations we're gonna do because obviously i can't spoil everything but we have all sorts of ideas for projects and it's like Okay, I have these cool ideas, but where do I want to use them on? Like, where am I going to save them? At times, I'm like, maybe I just save them for a creative project, and I just work in a creative world for a while. I mean, I find creative mode fun. I know a lot of people aren't fans of it, but I like creative. I, I mean, I'm a, at my at core, I am a survival player. I love survival mode. I, there's a reason I probably have a year of playtime in survival mode, but yet, I still have an interest in building things in creative i think that was it i think that was more evident in some of the earlier seasons where it was pretty obvious that um spoiler alert creative mode was definitely used well hell half the time we used creative mode on camera like there wasn't much shame in that back in the early seasons we'd stay legit for the first few months of the season and after that once we once we broke out of the legitness we were just done we're like okay uh enough acting <laughs> let's just use it for what we want it i did some building off camera <laughs> and yeah, I, I admit the entire spawn. Yeah, I, I I admit it was a bad habit. One actually, all the season spawns were um built by me on cam. I believe there wasn't much in with that kind of mm -hmm. stuff that I did off. Uh, did I create the glass block out of this one? I just realized that I was look. I was going in a circle in that other you dome. Firework. It's not Fourth of July yet. <laughs> not Fourth of July. Oh, that was the worst thing about when I was at my other house's firecrackers this time of year were non-stop. Our neighbors just loved them from like mid-Jaloon until... Mm, Jaloon? Jaloon? <laughs> ah! 
<laughs> oh, what the hell is a jaloon? What, <laughs> what is a jaloon? The hell is a jaloon? June, what July, or balloon? I don't know. I should jump in this ravine. I, I, there's a cave under there, and mob just poured out of it. And I can see like three creepers, four zombies, and like four and five skeletons. Nice. As I was trying to actually say, from <laughs> mid June to like mid August, our neighbors just um, like every other night at least would just play with firecrackers in the street and make all sorts of noise and make my dog terrified. And it was so annoying. I mean, for living in a city of like seventeen thousand, you'd think the police would crack down on some of that stuff. I mean, there are people letting off like full on fireworks in the city. Like, it was cool to see, but really annoying when people did it for weeks on end. And that meant my dog would just randomly walk into my room and hide between my legs because she was scared of stuff going boom. Uh, although, Kaboom. at that point, I do miss my good old dog. Still miss Georgia. Um, I guess I haven't talked about her much on the series in the last few months, but it's. I was kind of thinking about that the other day, with even with my two dogs that I've gotten since, and my two new puppies. I mean, neither of them even come close to replacing Georgia in my heart. I mean, in part of that's like a good thing, but I mean, I'm still. I have not really moved on from Georgia's passing yet. It's hard. I mean, that kind of dog in my life was just so important, and not having that still makes me sad occasionally. Like, I think about it, I'm like, really. I think about how I'm dying just a been. little bit. Wait, what the heck? I just got a, like a double jump, a double jump boost jump. Hmm. How do I do that? What the heck? How, hold on, I want to see if I can. Oh, I did! Ha ha! That zombie just saved me. Fun. I realized I was kind of screwed, like I can't jump up three blocks without mining it, so I used the zombie to, with jump with the jump boost because I'm close enough, barely, <laughs> and I jumped up three blocks. <laughs> but yeah, I, I think. Still, but losing a pet that you're really close to is the hardest, and that one just, I think the thing about George that made it the worst is I was always worried that she was going to die. Like, her health, with how overweight she was, I had always feared the end could come at any time. But I think what really, oh, god damn it, you skeleton, um, I think what made it especially hard is how fast she went, I mean, the dog, the poor dog, went totally blind and basically lost her ability to live in like a ten-day window. I mean, it was so sudden; she deteriorated so fast. And as I finally started to realize what was really going on, she was gone. I mean, I think it first occurred to me on like a Thursday that maybe we're gonna have to put her down if this if she doesn't start getting better. I mean, the blindness was just getting bad she wasn't feeling good and she was struggling to get around and by sunday morning she was dead and so i think for me that was a really tough time in my life and over the course of the winter i think that was probably one of the biggest roadblocks i mean how i went off of youtube for basically a month because of it i was completely off the internet um i was on discord and that was about it i i kind of just silently faded off i avoided saying much about it on twitter um I kind of just kept it low until I made my comeback with the Remembering Georgia video. Because I told myself immediately after she passed away, I'm like, you are not returning to YouTube until that video is out. And that's actually why it took me so long to get back on YouTube. I think I would have been able to return probably within 10 days of her passing if I had been in a better, if I was, I think I'd have been in a headspace quick enough. But I just didn't have the video done, and I would not let myself go back to YouTube without that video done. I think it was one of those times that holding myself accountable really paid off, because I think it was one of the greatest decisions I made. And at times during that break, it felt so good to be away from YouTube. Other points, I'm like, oh god, I'm just dooming myself. I mean, that was one of the reasons that upload delay back then is part of the reason we're doing daily episodes right now, trying to make sure we don't screw the series and not have time to finish the series i mean right now provided i don't accidentally screw up and miss a day i'm thinking the one day we don't have to upload between now and the end of the season probably will be the day before the end of the season so i just have a day to just solve the edit the finale <laughs> that's that's my at least my hope i hope i don't have to waste the day earlier maybe i will end up because i'm me and god knows what i might do but I'm hoping, at least, that that works out for me. It's all cave. Always has been. 
Isn't the world if if there was a roof, if the sky was actually like a roof, wouldn't that mean the whole thing is a cave? <laughs> God damn it! Isn't a dome just a cave with glass? No. It's a cave. A cave is glass underground, though. Yeah, it's under the ground. The glass isn't ground. You can. S what if it's not glass? Then would that be considered a cave? An artificial cave, I guess. It's a cave. Everything is a cave. This man is special. Yeah, I use dumb logic to make dumb assumptions. Not sure where and you're going with I it, don't but... see a problem with it. <laughs> yeah, I don't see it. Jump boost, go. Ha, huh, you are enjoying my jump boost. The same jump boost you made fun of. Yeah, because usually jump boost is stupid, and speed's usually better. When you're building a mega base, I 100% recommend jump boost. Well, this cave doesn't end like the other one. The other one at least ended. This one doesn't. It's just uh, cave, 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 and also cave. Ah, oh, it's a creeper. <laughs> but yeah, I like to point out as we cross the 21 minute mark of the episode here just a bit ago um like this is why this base is taking me so long it takes like 25 to 30 minutes per layer and well that was one layer yeah i'm just getting i'm nearly done to the, with this layer i'm on the last of the eight bonds i mean that's why it goes it's going up so slow i mean once I get to the end of the subdomes, it's going to go really fast. I mean, after I finish placing this glass here, we're going to go, before I end off, I want to show off the material list because although there's probably like, I don't know, maybe a few hundred glass in the centerpiece and the and the spire, I would guess like twenty, at least 20k of the glass is in the domes. And I want to see what progress we're making on that. Cause that'll give me an idea of exactly how far along in terms of time. I mean, are you okay? Uh, no. I just witnessed a skeleton boost a skele a creeper towards me. Not once, but twice. Cause oh. there was two of them. Oh, how fun! It double boosted him. I think one of them is punched too. Cause I swear that creeper went flying. That was another one. And also, I think I mentioned earlier in the week in an episode, but we are rapidly approaching 200 million takes of playtime. Um, guessing I'm going to hit it on Friday. Maybe a little sooner if I play a bit more, but I think I'm going to hit 98 million later tonight. And I'm kind of on a pace of upwards of 500,000 a day, but Terraria Tuesday is going to cut me out a night of playing Titan Craft, so that's going to put me back a little bit. But I can't wait to stream. It's going to be fun tomorrow night. Um, I still enjoy live streaming. I will admit that. I mean, there's there's some nights I go live and I just am not feeling it when I'm stressed. But for the most part, streaming is such a fun feeling. Oh, I see our camera take down there. Okay. We are 23 minutes into the episode and we finished a layer. Um, if I hit plus and we hit materialist and we hit refresh. Um, oh, okay. We, have, we are missing 10,464 glass out of... 21k so that means i guess you f when you kind of do the math in terms of the domes we are about at the halfway mark which is pretty damn good um pretty happy with that but our 3d printer thing we've done it i get a screenshot of that yeah instead of plastic it's glass is that diamonds oh it's diamonds i wish i could just move these snow blocks up and it would just keep building the base for me that'd be fun um i found dismans we turn the placement on so we can get a nice screenshot for the thumbnail. Because that's the kind of... It, it looks so cool. Uh, I just More distance. Okay, there we go. A few of these should work somewhere. Um, also, I like how my box up there is still so far away. But it Wait, won't be that no, long in the, the base. It'll be stretching up to my base. Uh, I gotta blow up the Dismans. Yeah. And then I also go through and light up the inside of all the domes. So that nothing spawns. And that's kind of a job and a half at some point. But... Yeah, that's going to do it for today, though. Long episode. I know. I need to get this thing rendered and online. Um, we'll be back again, then, for tomorrow on something. Probably working on the domes, obviously, because it's going to take me a few more days. And then once we do that, we will kind of take one day at a time with what project we go after. I mean, I think, again, generally speaking, I want to aim that I'll spend a day on each dome. 
or an episode on each of the domes. And then the main dome, I don't know. This will be kind of a multi-day project that I work on off and on, I'm guessing. But anyways, enough rambling because i got to get this thing rendering. On the note, have yourselves a great day. This has been a Tenic and... Percussion. And we will see you guys in the next episode of Titancraft Season 10. Thank you so much for watching, as always. Peace out. Bye-bye.